<laughs> and uh, how are the golfing things going today? Well, the two inquiries is now, nothing major. And do you breed these small horses? And what's your name? What's your name? And where are you from? Paladry. Paladry, that's not too far away. No, Roscommon, man. No, that's hard. Or is it Roscommon or Mayo, man? Which is it? Huh? Is it Roscommon? It has to be Roscommon. Well, it means it's kind of going back and over. <laughs> and how long are you breeding them? I just a couple of years now. Yeah. What are you, most of her kids, is it? Yeah. 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 Very nice, then. What kind of money are they worth, man? Hmm? What kind of money are they worth? Well, the money is bad now at the moment, so I think much. Yeah. Things are very bad. How is it going here today? It's quite now. I haven't seen much happening. Yeah. Have you, have you many here? <laughs> but at least you had to find weather, huh? Now the day is good, I hear. Okay, thank you very much. We do carriage driving, so... Can I tell you something about carriage driving? Yeah. We do um, horse driving trials. Yes. Um, which was supposed to be founded by the Duke of Edinburgh. Yeah. And it runs throughout Ireland. And then our daughter has competed on the Junior Irish carriage oh, driving team. Well done. So she was in the European competition last year and she yeah. was over in England for the Irish Junior team last yes, year as well. Yeah, so yeah. That's what we do. It's like three day eventing really. Yes, yes. And what does it consist of? You have dressage. Yes. Uh, we have to be dressed I, in the I know right that, attire. I know, I know that. Yeah. And uh, your carriage has to be a dressage vehicle, which yes. is based on the sort of traditional style vehicle. Yes. And then you have your marathon day where you do maybe 16 or 17 kilometers. Yes. And you do your obstacles through that. Yes. And then you have cone driving on the third yes. section. Yes. And that then all your points are accumulated up. Yeah. Then for who wins on the day. And how long are you in it? We've been in it about 25 years. Yeah, that's And now our thing. daughter's taking up the race. Where, where are you based? We're based in Newry. Newry, yeah. yeah. So we've travelled, as I say, all through Ireland. There's yeah. competitions. Is there much, is there, is there much um, carriage, carriage racing in Ireland? Well, it's, um, yeah, it's, a, it's an up and coming sport, really. Yes. Um, I suppose it, it has started to really take off from people going across to Europe and over to England to compete. Yes. And, you know, that has raised yes. the standards here as well. Oh, yeah. So, and what kind of a gig, what kind of a gig are uh, we use four wheel um, four purpose wheel. built vehicles yeah. with turntable and brakes and yeah. disc brakes and that on it and uh, yeah. web and harness mostly synthetic type harness so it can yeah. be washed off and kept again so yeah. that's really what most people would use. Yeah. And would there be many uh, competitors in the competition then? Oh well, you'd have maybe forty outfits oh, yeah. out at each event and as oh, I say yeah. we run from the top yeah. of the north to the south. Yeah. Our last event this year was in Nina. Yes. County Tip. Yeah. So yeah. they were in good form. They just won the All Ireland. So they were oh, very good, yeah. Good day. Was, yeah. But, uh, so that's, it sort of covers the whole of Ireland, really. Yeah. So that's us. And do you have much preparation to do? Well, you have to take your horses, are usually brought in about February and they're in training, really, from then. And yeah. You have to have a certain level of fitness and stamina with them for the marathon day, but you have to have obedience and um, paces yeah. and style. Yeah. The dressage day, so you're looking for an all round animal. That yeah. you know? And how do you train them then? A lot of long reining if you're starting with a young horse, and yeah. then most of your <coughs> stamina training is done out on the roads, so right. they have to be sensible in traffic at the same time yeah. and accustomed to traffic. Um, but a lot of it is really just getting the miles, yes. getting as many miles in that he's going to yeah. do the 17 kilometres. Out of the, the work it out, if you do four kilometres a minute. Yes. So it's quite a push for any animal yes, really to keep that yeah. up. You know. Yeah. So. But how do you train them against traffic noise and that? Well, it's really just practice, practice, and going out on smaller roads initially, yes. and then introducing them as you go along yeah. to the traffic. You know. But you're looking. For the animal in the beginning to have a sensible yes. nature to start with, because if you have something that's prepared to work with you, then you can really get any animal. Yeah, the, the trust built up. It's getting the trust built up, yeah. yeah. Although in today's climate, roads are very dangerous. Oh, they, they are. Won't give you a minute in the car, let alone. Oh, no, 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 no. But a lot of it's just um, yeah. training and training and preparing yeah. them. And that's really what it's all about. But if a horse got frightened, how would you stop him? Well, you're really dependent that you have him trained properly, that he will come back into your hand eventually, yeah. you know, but you're dependent very much yeah. on that, you know, and if they get a fright, his natural instinct is to bolt and to run away from yeah. it. Yeah. So um, you're really dependent on your reins and on the trust you've built up with the animal. Yeah. You know? Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, what's your name? Uh, Maxwell. And where are you from? Kildare. Are you going to buy in here today? Huh? Are you going to buy in here today? Definitely not. <laughs> you buy a few I have too many of them at home. Have you? Yeah. Just a few weeks to Overdone. 
Yeah. And you breed horses. Once well, bent to a shy. Yeah. That is where I We didn't see any cultures around the place. Huh? There's a country, a few cultures around the place here. I suppose you could put any of us down to that. Did you see any of them around here? No. Oh, we did. We seen the first, the first guy. Oh, we did, yeah. yeah. We seen them coming in there, the first guy that was taking us. Oh, well, they're good guys. They're quite up there the now. Show. They're not out of bed yet, though. Huh? Are they yeah. come out yet? Oh, dude, they got to come out at night. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nice to talk to you. No Enjoy bother, so, man. Right, 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 right.